for YouTube. I'm scared. I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm why I'm scared. Um, I have this new job, as y'all know. Um, okay, I've only been in Orlando a few months, and um, when I first came here, of course, I found a job quickly. I needed a job. I found it. Found a job quickly. Um, it was. It is what it is. People don't like for you to call it that, but it was a telemarketing job. And the people were really good people there, um, as far as managers, owners, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, you know, towards the, towards the end, I was zero and out, so I requested to be suspended. <laughs> and they were like, well, that's an odd request. And the manager was like, well, this happens, you know, whatever. But I was just like, I requested to be suspended because I didn't want any special favors, which it wasn't. You know, they kind of, just like any job, they pick and choose, um, you know, who they want to stay and this, that, and the other. Now, oh, oh gosh. So, I request to be suspended. You know, I was going to take a week off, regroup myself, whatever. And they were like, how long you want to be suspended for? <laughs> and I was like, one to three weeks. I was hoping more near three because I was going to, you know, see, you know, how I felt about going back to the job and, you know, just, just a whole bunch of stuff. See, you know, better myself, you know, maybe take some classes because I was getting probably a little tired of everything. But um, what ended up, what ended up was um, being said was, well, what ended up happening, you know, they asked me how long did I want. I really wanted it three weeks. Uh, um, but I just said one because I was thinking that was kind of bold of me to even request to be suspended. I mean, who requests to be suspended from a job? But, um, you know, like I said, yeah, you, you know, they was cool with it. <laughs> so, but after the week was up, I really didn't want to go back. And I think that, you know, the psychology of it all is that if you... If if you are requesting to be suspended from your job, and I didn't notice either because I've never been in a situation where I would actually request to be suspended or, you know, that's not typically something that somebody wants. But, I mean, if it comes to a point where you're requesting to be suspended from a job, I'm having to understand now that the psychology of it all is that you probably don't really want to be there, but you're just too scared to quit. <laughs> so what it does is it puts some space between you and the job to help you get your cojones together so you can do that. Now, how do I feel? Um, okay, well, I was talking about this job. So, you know, I only worked a part-time job, you know, for the past few months or whatever, and the hours got really slim which for me anyways, for me, they got really slim. And I didn't mind that because to me, that job was for entertainment purposes only. But it came to a point where I realized that, you know, I'm really handicapping myself. So I need to find me a better job. So not even a better job, but just another job in general. And I'm about to break my neck going across this river to get to the bus stop. But, um, and I should have changed my shoes before I went into this ditch because now my heels are going to be digging deep into the soil. But, you know, it's all good. So, you know, I was impressed. And I need to learn to have better self-esteem and love myself a little bit more. Oh, the reason I'm recording this is because, again, laptop situation. I don't know what it is with me and jobs and laptops. It's just not a good thing. And it seems like every job that I go to, which makes sense that um, they want to give you some responsibility. Ow, ow, are you seriously fucking kidding me? Like I have a sticker brow or something in my pants and that shit hurts. Okay, but anyhow, um, and now I gotta go across this ocean to get to, <laughs> to the bus stop. This is fucking crazy. Uh, excuse my language, but, and I am cognizant that I did just, did just use profanity and I do want that to stop. But anyhow, so, and my breath stinks right now. Why, I don't know. I do know, because it's something I ate this morning. But, um, oh, so, what I was gonna say is this. Oh, here's my bus. I didn't even get a chance to sit down and put my shoes on good, and here's the bus. 
Um, so I can't finish recording. But anyways, I don't know what it is with me and jobs and laptops. Every job that I go to, I used to be real happy-go-lucky, gung-ho. Oh, new job. Whatever they tell me to do, I'm going to do. Go above and beyond. The first time, like I said, when I got falsely accused and whatever, um, that was when I took the initiative and I requested, is it okay to bring my laptop, blah, blah, blah. And then I found out they weren't worth it and I quit. They got mad and then they falsely accused and, and whatever. Second job, laptop. Um, the, the owner, not the owner, but the manager told me to use my laptop to do all this stuff, work from home. I did that. Then he didn't pay me and um, messed everything up. Now this job, they're telling me to bring my laptop and I'm scared, you know what I'm saying? I'm scared to do that, you know? Like, but it's not abnormal for people to do that on jobs where, you know, but I just, it's like, I'm scared to do it. I've been burned too many times by that. No appreciation and have my personal property and my reputation messed up because of the way somebody felt about something. But my bus is here, we'll finish this up in a minute.